Hello, and welcome to Skydio Release Notes. Here's what's new with Skydio X10. Now available is the Skydio Spotlight Attachment. Affix the spotlight attachment to either side attachment bay, set the angle for your spotlight, then launch. The spotlight casts a broad beam light with 5,500 lumen, helping you illuminate subjects or areas of interest from a distance. The spotlight attachment allows you to recognize a person at up to 500 feet away. Once in flight, you can control your spotlight inside Skydio Flight Deck. The spotlight attachment is a great add-on when sending in your drone as a first responder, search and rescue missions, and other night-based operations. Now, when you are flying, you can choose between standard or low light mode. Skydio Flight Deck will prompt you to switch modes if there is not enough light in your environment. Note, low light mode replaces the GPS only toggle. Here are some tips for low light mode. You must enable low light if you wish to fly with night sense. You can control night sense from the flight screen through the quick action button. If you're flying in low light without night sense, you will be prompted to calibrate your drone prior to flight. For more information on flying in low light mode, including flying in precipitation, visit our written release notes and support page. The Skydio Night Sense attachments allow you to leverage Skydio's visual navigation and obstacle avoidance capabilities, even when flying at night. The Night Sense attachments cast a light above and below your drone. This light allows the navigation cameras to avoid and detect obstacles in the drone's path. The attachment comes in two variations, visible light and infrared or IR light. You must match the type of Night Sense attachment you have with the type of navigation cameras you have on board your drone. The visible light night sense system is great for normal nighttime operations. If you are operating in a stealth environment, then we recommend the IR night sense system. Note, you must be in low light mode to fly with night sense. Now, Skydio X10 uses the time of flight sensor to detect the ground or landing surface and stops the drone's descent before it makes contact with the ground, even when obstacle avoidance is off. Note, this feature is not designed for active terrain avoidance when flying laterally. Be sure to enable standard or close obstacle avoidance to set a reliable obstacle avoidance margin around your drone. The action wheel allows you to assign functions to the D-pad on the controller. In global settings, flight controls, controls, you can customize the up, left, and right actions on the D-pad. Hold the back button on the controller to bring up the action wheel menu. While holding the back button, press the D-pad, up, left, or right to execute that function. Note, when using the action wheel, D-pad down will lock the controller screen, which is useful in precipitation or for preventing accidental inputs. The default values for flight sensitivity have been updated. Right out of the box, your Skydio X10 throttle will be set to 100%, and the roll and pitch sensitivity settings will change to 35%, or approximately 8 meters per second. Whichever sensitivity settings you select will persist across flights and power cycles. To reset to these new defaults, select Global Settings, Flight Controls, Sensitivity, and select Reset at the bottom of the sensitivity settings. Your defaults will also be reset if you factory reset your drone. Previously, you would select Vision or GPS as your return type. Now, your drone will return automatically using whichever system is strongest. If flying in low-light environments, we recommend monitoring and maintaining strong GPS health during your flight. For a full list of new features and improvements, visit skydio.com support.